Uh, hello. I'm sure the audio is nice. <laughs> I uh, messed it up again. I'm not sure why. I thought the other day, I thought yesterday, I, I, I think at some point it was working okay. And uh, I'm not sure. Somehow I unplugged a cable and plugged, I guess, the wrong one in or whatever. Now here in my room, uh, the sound, okay, I don't know where the buzzing is coming from now, <laughs> the, uh, the uh, sound sounded good here in the room, you know, for me, uh, but now, of course, anyway, I found the, and it was easy, but I didn't notice it till. uh, few hours later it happened and somebody caught it a friend of mine caught it at the same time I just was going through checking videos and answering some things and then I thought whoo that the sound doesn't sound like nearly as good as it did and uh, then the next email that I came on or whatever was this friend saying oh okay yeah, the sound was really low and then so I checked here, and I just got around to it because I went through and answered a whole bunch of uh, messages, you know, private messages. And uh, then I saw his, well, I noticed it uh, by because I tapped, I guess I should do that every time. People are probably, I should have, I should do that. Now, I can't see unless I could rig up uh, something that has it's permanently on my desk where I would see the bar go or something. But uh, anyway, now the audio should be good and the video is good, except that uh, I want to get back to where, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have to use OBS or just what I'm going to have to do to get back where I have you know, a camera on me, but also you can see what I'm, you know, what I'm doing on the desktop and that type of stuff. So I want to get back to that. Although none of you have been complaining, except uh, YouTube. I made a video, I think it was yesterday, uh, do not buy the Wave 3 microphone stand from Amazon. And I don't know what the rest of it uh, on that title says, but 137 people viewed it, including YouTube, because, well, I went ballistic. Not the first time I've gone ballistic, but I went really ballistic. I mean, I went way inappropriately. Um, but, I mean, for years I've been... But, you know, I think the reason that I didn't get any real complaints about the previous me going crazy, which was when I was not doing a YouTube site, I was doing a WordPress site. And uh, let me think here for a second if I can explain. Well, I talked about lawyers and I did it every three years, every Labor Day. On Labor Day, I would uh, make some suggestions about lawyers and I went into some detail about uh, lawyers and uh, I don't think anybody disagreed with me. <laughs> uh, how could you unless you're a lawyer? But um, so that was done the WordPress site and there was other stuff you know in the I mean that was very it was very popular. And I love doing the WordPress site. Uh, the reason, one reason I stopped, well, more than one reason. One reason was uh, when you set it up, uh, parts of the thing that you would use, you know, there would be something that would come out new. Oh, you can, you know, install this for, you know, let's say uh, $10 a month, you know, and we update this little part here and let you do this and you can do that or before long I probably must have I'm guessing 15 or you know 
15 different parts added to my WordPress site. And uh, they kept up great, you know, they couldn't make the product good and leave it alone because they wanted, you know, to increase the amount of money they got or whatever. And so I just finally gave up on the WordPress site. I did enjoy doing it, it was fun because it was more like publishing something in you know written form than doing this. Um, but anyway, I had something that I did on a regular basis for years on Labor Day. Probably still out there someplace. But I was, I was, uh, I think I was being clever and I was, I was joking, but I was serious. I mean, the, the problem is with lawyers and I went through the whole thing, law school, I didn't go through law school. <laughs> I was lucky to get out of high school. Um, uh, but I went through, you know, the problems with lawyers and that all that type of stuff and law schools and stuff like that. Um, now, when I came over to YouTube, I still did some... Uh, I'm not sure if I did the, I might have done the thing on, even here on, uh, again, I have got so many videos here. I might have done the, I might have been doing them on Labor Day. And, <laughs> but maybe nobody cared, because uh, maybe everybody agreed with me. Um, but a couple of days, well, more than that, I, I've had trouble with, um, microphones and uh, this kind of stuff and with the ordering too and I've been I'm really a, I'm a I'm easy going uh, but um, I'm not even going to mention it because I don't know how I can mention this without becoming the crazy guy again and YouTube didn't like the they sent me a <clears throat> a warning. I've never got one of those warnings before. I've got a few times warnings where I was walking through a mall, you know, making a video and of course I have some hearing loss, you know, a lot of hearing loss. And I could barely hear the music in the mall, but I was, and I mentioned it when I was making it, I said, you know, uh, I hope I don't get a copyright hit or something because of that music playing in the background that I can barely hear, you know. Sure enough, I got a copyright, you know, which isn't that big of a deal unless you're, you know, it, it's never been a big deal. I've got a few of them. That, but I've never got one of these hits, and I forget what it's called. It's a serious one. And, but they, you know, YouTube said, oh, okay, well, we're not taking any action against you, but you know, this is, you know, inappropriate and you should not be doing things like this or whatever. So I left it up long enough for 137 people to watch it. And that was one day ago. And I just went over to the YouTube setting to see what I can do about it. I was going to delete it. And then I went over and I looked at the settings that are available to me and I saw that what I can do is, and you may still see it, do not buy the Wave 3 microphone stand from Amazon. If you see it, what should happen, because I've said it that way, is when you click on it, it will not take you to the directory where it is. Or it'll take you to the directory and will you know, maybe show you the picture and the title that I just read, you know, do not buy the Wave 3 microphone stand from Amazon. You may see that, but you're not going to be able to see the video. And that way, it's still there. Now, maybe four or five people have access to that private directory. But, they're uh, well, there's one thing there now, this, you know, but there's maybe four or five people who have access to it, and that's it. 
and I don't, you can't pay me money to get, you know, because that's not, that's not what it's there for. I put it there so that it was an option for something like this to, have, to pop up. It finally has popped up. So I guess I can move on from that to... Uh, now, um, <clears throat> let me go back without getting into trouble. So I can't pretend to go and go insane or whatever for you. Or am I playing, you know? <laughs> um, Wave 3 microphone is a great uh, microphone. It's here someplace. By the way, I cleaned this desk off twice today because some of you complained. But I had to bring it back over to do some stuff. And I don't know where the stuff is now. But um, um, okay, I forgot my oh, here's the microphone, by the way. This is a good microphone. And I uh, in fact, I also just downloaded the up and made it upgrade to, you know, to it, the software. So, but I broke, uh, well, I've got this stuff here to show you, but I can't show it to you because I'd knock a cable loose or something. But this came with a plastic thing that went over here and it screwed in on this side and that side and then it would fit, you know, in something like this, or, you know, whatever. This is a microphone, by the way. This is a uh, microphone. Um, now, and of course, this audio here is perfectly good now. If if I can keep from disconnecting it. Oh, yeah, uh, yesterday or a few hours ago, I was talking and I tapped it. You know, I tapped it and said, you know, this is working well. You know, the microphone. Well, somehow it had come unconnected, the wire. I forget why it was something I was doing, something I was improving, whatever, and it had come, no, it hadn't come unplugged. It had just been replugged in the back and uh, into one of the uh, USB ports. And so that's why I had moved it to the back and then I guess I had not checked it well to see so I, uh, you know, moved it around just just a, a while ago, and now it's plugged in where this is really good. And if I tap, I guess I I can't stop myself from I'll try to stop myself from making that. So, um, I wish, well. Anyway, I do want to go to, even though you don't seem like you're interested, uh, you seem like you're perfectly happy with just one shot of me and then me trying to uh, hold up something, you know, and, uh, you know, do that rather than having a side-by-side -side screen and I can be here talking to you or it could be, you know, zoomed in talking to you. And then over here would be the screen. But apparently, maybe you don't want to see me. Uh, well, maybe you know that would be a sign you did want to see me. Anyway, um, I just took a picture of the moon outside on my cell phone. By the way, I, I've gone through so many cell phones, that's crazy too. I guess I am crazy. Uh, this is the uh, Moto that uses a stylus or whatever. And I had one of the Samson 
fancy ones that cost about a thousand dollars. By the time I got it, I think they cost eight hundred. My uh, daughter gave it to me, Hillary. Actually, she's coming tomorrow for my birthday, or she always brings. Well, at Christmas time when she comes, she brings Christmas candy. I think I showed pictures of the, you know, we're talking, you know, and. I'm type 2 diabetic. Darlene is type 2 diabetic. I don't know about Jimmy. He won't go to the doctor. Uh, but uh, anyway, like at Christmas, she, we had candy you would not believe. I mean, she just, she bought candy for each one of us, you know. Uh, but now this is my birthday. She's coming on. So she'll be, oh, she always brings a birthday cake. Darlene loves cake. It's not her birthday, but she loves cake. And she loves the kind of cake. I'm not that crazy about, actually, I like angel food cake. I like angel food cake, just plain angel food cake. And then I like other, certain other kinds of cake. But Darlene likes the, like a birthday cake, and it, and it has to have this stuff sprinkled, you know, the little candy thing sprinkled on top or whatever. And I will, when, Something like that happens if, if it's her birthday or my birthday or whoever's birthday it is. When Hillary brings over the cake, you know, Darlene tells her, "Oh, bring." Some. Well, Darlene, her, Hillary knows what to bring, and I might eat a piece, a piece or two of the cake. But what I do is I scrape the icing off <laughs> and just eat the cake. Um, so anyway, Hillary is coming tomorrow, and. Uh, 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 Hillary has given me several cell phones, you know, and uh, this one, the Motorola with the stylus, I do like the stylus, um, but what I want to do is, and I've, I've looked them up, which one is it now that I... Uh, Anyway, it's about, I think, a little bit over $200 for it. And it, what is it? I had one a long time ago, and I, let's see, I wonder if I could find it on here. Uh, anyway, it doesn't have a style, it doesn't use a stylus. But I, and so I'm going to buy one. I'm not going to let Hillary buy me I'm going to buy one. And uh, it's, they have several models, you know, so there's there's one under $200. But right now, the one I'd like to have, same model, except, you know, next, next year or something like that. And the, um, uh, the price is a little bit over 200 I mention it from time to time. But nobody seems really to uh, to respond. So if somebody had, say somebody has upgraded, you know, there must be with the number of people, even watching this, you know, site, there must be uh, probably a, a dozen or two people that have that purchased that and have have upgraded to a Samsung or. Uh, uh, Apple, some Apple, you know, something they've gone to that, and they probably got that thing laying in, you know, laying in the drawer. And I would pay, you know, I'd like to get it at a reasonable price, you know, I would pay for it or something. But nobody seems to. <clears throat> I cannot believe the loud that Darlene and my grown son are in there. They're not arguing or anything. They're talking about something. One reason I, I set things up the way I did, the, the way I'm changing things. Now one thing, I want to get back to two monitors, but I'm not sure I'm going to make it, and especially if none of you want the two monitor situation, if you're happy with this. But, okay, that's, okay, I got the fucking junk on the, I don't want to get up and, well, let me bring it, just hold it in my lap here. Uh, there it is. Uh, okay.
Hey, here this thing is. And, okay, can you, okay, it's a sound, you know. Now, I can't, I don't want to move anything again. So, but if I put it over here, I can move it back a little bit in here. And it might soak up some of the loudness. Darlene plays the uh, uh, movies. Twenty. She falls asleep with the remote control in her hand. Sometimes she sort of wakes up and presses the button or whatever. Yeah, she. Uh, she's confined to a wheelchair. Uh, she. Her bedroom is the dining room area, but then the the kitchen is right there. So she loves that. You know, the kitchen is right there, and the food, and the refrigerator, and all that stuff. And then when she leaves and goes into the living room, which is a disaster area, because when I, I lived here first, well, she lived here in this apartment complex, I don't know, 10 years before I moved here, you know. And when I moved here with my grandson, we moved in upstairs. There was a vacancy above her apartment, ground floor apartment. And then after a few years, uh, I convinced Russell, my grandson, to what well, the deal was. He was working, and this was an extra hundred dollars because it's two bedroom, two bath, and it's one bat, one bedroom, one bath over there. And he didn't want to spend a hundred bucks, you know. And I, it was vacant, and I brought him over and showed it to him, and I said, you know, and he said, oh, okay. He paid for a couple months, and then he just stopped paying. I'm not going to ask him, you know, I wasn't, you know, if he doesn't have that kind of, you know, so I just stopped asking him. But anyway, uh, then Darlene said, you know, we're both paying for cable television. At that time, we were paying, both paying for cable television, both pa playing, paying for, uh, you know, internet service. I mean, we were paying doubles, everything doubled. And so, when I got this, then eventually she moved in with our, uh, well, when uh, Russell's mother moved in here from Sweden, when she came from Sweden, and then she rented an apartment behind us, second floor, you know, or whatever. And uh, um, so... They've never been this loud before. I don't know what they're talking. They're not fighting or anything. But I, th I think I'm going to have to, because uh, I don't know what they're saying with my hearing. And so, anyway, what was I going to talk about? Anyway, the microphone is fixed. The video is fixed. I need to clean the desk off. I need to hook up this screen See, I could move the monitor. Of course, I want to go to two monitors, but I can move this monitor down there and then put the microphone here with the shield around it, and that would help a little bit. Um, but, you know, as soon as I move something, now I've got coming tomorrow. Of course, it's a wave three, and well, you can't see that, by the way, can, can you? Uh, you can't see that screen. Um, I mean, every time I move something, I mean, I, right now everything is fixed, I think, 100% good. But every time I move something, something else happens, or when I install an upgraded driver or whatever. I'd like to go to an Apple computer for the first time. You know, I'm in a few hours here, in an hour, and 30 minutes, I will be 83 years of age. Kind of late to go to Apple, but um, I, um, I, um, I, I wish I could go, I think it would be a lot easier with an Apple computer from what I've seen. I've never had one. From what I've seen, I think that the things you get when you, know, you plug them in, Apple, you know, and I think it works pretty much. And I think I could move stuff around and not worry about 
am ha having to tap on the microphone and that type of stuff. So anyway, I'm really hungry because I haven't eaten, I don't think, uh, hardly all day today. So uh, I haven't taken my medicine yet either. Well, I did, or, yeah, earlier today I did take an naproxen and I chewed it up for some reason. And I usually swallow them, they're pretty big. I, when I was a kid, I, w I couldn't, well, I was an adult. I could not swallow a pill. That's embarrassing. And I remember, you know, going to the doctor and had, I had something, I don't know what it was. And the doctor, I told the doctor, I can't swallow a pill. And, okay, so he made it liquid form, you know, whatever, you know, on the prescription. I took it to the pharmacist, you know. He said, is this for a kid? I said, no, it's for me. In liquid form? I said, I can't swallow a pill. And he goes, uh, okay. So, um, I've mentioned this before. I've talked about it, so I'm not going to go through it again. Um, I do also what I would like to do, and I think that would work maybe better also with uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter. She is doing, I think about two years ago or less, she started making, now when she was little and I was pioneering, pioneering in, uh, you know, bulletin board systems and computers and that kind of stuff, and she was you know, learning from me and she was, before long she had a bulletin board system and then her friends you know, they set up all the board systems because of her or whatever. So she, she really, you know, and now she's uh, doing, and she's smart, by the way. I'm not. I can say that and because I'm not. Now, I do have certain abilities and certain talents. Thank God, you know, uh, I have hearing that is really bad, and it's been bad since I was in first or second grade. And then I got glasses later on, but that it didn't seem like that was that big of a thing. Uh, although my parents never replaced, you know. When I had the hearing loss, my parents got, you know, a thing from the school. And even I was, I was either first or second grade. First grade, I think. Even I could look at this thing and say, oh shit. Well, I didn't say, oh shit, I went to a Catholic school. But I, it was like, this is not good. <laughs> Took it home, gave it to them. They threw it in the drawer. That was first grade, I think. And then I, uh, no, that was in the second grade that we took that because it was a Catholic school, they didn't have much money. That's why we had to sell cookies and candy bars and all kinds of stuff in order to, and have news, newspaper drives. I don't think you know what those are anymore yet. The Catholic school kids would go out and collect newspapers, you know and then a truck would come and we'd put them in there and then we'd get paid, our nuns would get paid X amount of money for X number of pounds of whatever. I don't think that happens anymore. Are, are there any newspapers left? Uh, of course, maybe we could collect printer paper, you know, from a printer, I don't know, but anyway. Anyway, so the heating test was given to me at Holy Name Grade School. Uh, second, okay, be second grade. Now that's the only time that Catholic school, they, the second grade is when they did the hearing test. Somehow it could, they wouldn't have bought any equipment and I don't think they could have paid and afford to pay anybody, you know, and I don't think God came down or sent Gaberbull down to, uh, Gaberbull, <laughs> to, uh, to, uh, to do the hearing test. But it, I've never cheated, by the way, I mean, as dumb as I am, I should have, I've never cheated on, I've always, and not just that, everything. Uh, I've just never, so anyway, but so, second grade, I uh, was taking the hearing test, and uh, we were in the library, and they had the headphones on everybody, and then you made a mark or something when you heard a noise or something, I don't know how they figured it out, you know, but, but Anyway, so there was a real attractive second grade girl sitting next to me, you know, or 
whatever. And I saw all these people, all these second graders mark, making marks or whatever, so I was trying to copy off of her, you know, and that actually was like, you know, <laughs> hiding it. I thought, I thought, you know, hey, this is a hearing test, you know, not to, not to get into Harvard or Yale or something. And so I flunked to second grade. I flunked to second grade because my, well, because I was stupid. Uh, my mother's Betty, I always call my parents Jim and Betty, uh, but let's, for this purpose, I'll say my mother, uh, her mother, when she was, when Betty was little in grade school, her mother, Hallie Stallsworth, um, had a total heart block and uh, that was a death pen that was a death sentence when the doctor gave you that now I didn't realize until I got a total heart block and had to have a pacemaker put in I didn't realize that there was that connection I'd never you know I didn't realize that I had a well, I knew I had a heart block when it showed up on my you know and then I remembered that but anyway, so my mother's mother lived with us for two years. Both my parents worked. And I was a lock key boy or whatever you call that, you know. But my mother's mother, she needed some place to live. So she came and it was my job to, she took phenobarbital. I don't know what that is, except it was something that she liked to take. It made her feel good. And if anybody deserved to feel good, it was her. And so my job was on the first and second grade to uh, give her her medication when it was time and not let her take any, you know. And uh, her job, I guess, was to, you know, make me breakfast or whatever. And for second grade, her job also was, well, not her job, but her was, you know, she would uh, wake me up every morning to go to school or and she'd say, uh, are you okay? Do you need to stay home? Are you sick? And I'd say, uh, say what I call her? Mom, because her daughter called her mom. And I said, no, Mom, I think I feel, and so I, they, she kept me home a lot. And then during the second grade, there was, I think, two versions of measles that came out uh, and all these other things. And I got them all, well, not mumps, I never got mumps. And uh, whatever, I did get a polio shot, but that wasn't, I forget when that was. I got a polio shot, of course. But I think that was later that it came out. I think that's when I was like in, uh, uh, maybe the fifth and sixth grade or something like that. One girl in our class of about 25, I'm thinking, she got polio. My, of course, my ex-wife, uh, when I got married, a week, I was 26 and she was 18, so there was, you see that. So she got polio when she was five and she got it just before the vaccine came, you know, vaccine came out. I think I got sidetracked. Oh, I think the hearing thing or whatever. So my parents, oh, so by me flunking the second grade, uh, the school, by the way, finally, you know, they sent a note home who mom got is saying, you know, he's missing too much school, but I still, you know, I still missed the school. But anyway, I ended up taking the, uh, so I was there for the second grade again, and I went out and to the, and they, uh, I didn't try to copy this time. And uh, they sent the same, you know, the same thing home. Uh, well, God, you know. And my parents never did anything about it. I'm not blaming them or anything. Uh, uh, both of them were alcoholics. Now, my mother, not in the beginning, but at some point, she wanted to share a drink, you know, with her husband, and he was drinking beer. And uh, but she didn't like beer, 
so she did highballs. And, uh, but anyway, uh, it always sounds like to me, thinks that I'm, I'm, that I'm knocking my parents, and I'm not. But, uh, you know, I, I never, ever got a spanking. I mean, unless I was, you know, in the crib, a baby and a, you know, a newborn or something, maybe I, I never got a spanking. And, um, anyway, um, how long have I been talking? 35 minutes, that's too long. So, uh, this microphone should be working, the video should be, I, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get the video taken care of. I don't have the ability with what I'm using right now to zoom in and do stuff. And so that's going to be coming. And I think I already told you that I told you about, you know, the, uh, the bad thing that uh, YouTube, which, which, I mean, if they, they say, you know, okay, you know, they didn't threaten me or anything else like that. But I've moved that away. And, uh, but I did, really, it was, uh, well, I was performing, but I really was that angry at uh, the wave people. Um, but more disturbed with, uh, I don't remember, the manufacturing of, okay, let me mention, you know, these, I bought like four of these. <laughs> to fit the microphone the, where the thing broke, you know, uh, here, a plastic thing that I, you know, I, I used it for a very short period of time, and it came with a thing that went over and, uh, uh, let's see if you can see it, if you, anyway, so it went up on here, you know, so this plastic, I was tightening it too tight, it broke, so then I ordered, I don't want to go through the whole thing. I might go into my crazy mode. But repeated companies uh, showed this microphone attached to uh, a boom. No, you can't do it that way. I bought one uh, boom. I bought another boom because another advertisement showed, one showed, well, let's not go through it, just take my choice, it, it, take my word for it, it showed this microphone like this in a different manner, you know, and the next one did, and then I ordered another one that I was sure because they said it was this one, it fit this one, and all that kind of, I ordered another one, and then and then, I, then my my thing was to hell with it, you know. And I've just been having it sit here, and it's a good microphone. I think it's going to work out really well. I think even better than this one. But if it doesn't, we've still got this one. But then I waited around weeks, months. Well, first I went to their site, you know, to check, and they have they sell they sell all kinds of stuff, good stuff too, and. Uh, so they, uh, but they did not have a, a microphone stand, I mean a, uh, you know, extension. They didn't have that. So I thought, I'll just wait. Uh, people are going to be breaking. I'm not the only one that breaks plastic. And sure enough, I went back a couple months later, and uh, they had it listed. Uh, that, thank God. So I ordered one. It wasn't very much money. I think it might have been like nine dollars for the little piece of plastic. You know, but that was okay. I ordered it. It never came. Never came. I'm a peace-loving, quiet person. I don't get angry. I don't get crazy. I just okay. That's it. You're just going to be a paperweight here. And. Uh, Then, let's see, it became available. No, okay, I didn't, I didn't get it. 
but then supposedly these things here, booms, you know, or whatever, they became, and they had, you know, whatever, they showed it, you know, on there or whatever, and uh, so I I bought one. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like $14 or whatever this is. It's not expensive. I, I own about four of them because four of them were purchased to pay <laughs> <laughs> and they're in the closet. Never used, never returned. Because uh, I'm a rich man. I'm not rich. I'm not rich. Um, so, finally, uh, finally, they actually manufactured some themselves some stands that will fit this and uh, I've got one of them coming I think that's it we'll see but no matter what I'm not gonna go crazy uh, I am crazy but I'm not gonna go crazy and prove it so 41 minutes what have we talked about I don't know but I'm going to upload this and get something to eat. I haven't eaten all day long. Then I'm going to clean the desk off, hoping not to unplug any of these cables. And uh, thank you very much for watching.